worked in the Vita at Occupy Wall Street, just over there. How long have you been here? When did you arrive? I believe it was seven or eight days. I've lost track of time, and that tends to be a common occurrence. One person even said they like, forgot what month it was. Okay, so uh, you've been here for about a week, and uh, tell us about uh, your experiences. Oh, it's been a wide range of experiences. There's been a lot of community building. There's been a lot of disruptions by different people coming over. Voluntary security has been taking care of it. Meanwhile, you have other people being home and cops stand nearby. So you have community building to resolve problems, or the cops stand by and keep a watch but don't actually do anything to help. Okay, so that's what I want to talk about today is the, uh, the community aspects. How is Occupied Wall Street organized? It's supposed to be organized on a horizontal democratic level with, based on consensus, which isn't a, a democratic way of majority voting, but a way of getting everyone's viewpoints to come to a synthesis, a synthesis of ideas to, to, for what's best for the group as a whole as opposed to any individual individual group. So it's broken up into committees? They're all committees that take care of various logistical details, such as keeps track of the finances, food takes care of actually distributing food and collecting food, but as far as like the overall decisions, it's supposed to be done by the General Assembly. Okay, um, so finances, uh, tell us how much money has been raised and where they spend this money. About 175000 has been raised. I haven't followed the finance committee as much, but I do know that they voted today to spend 3000 on a cleanup sanitation effort for the park due to an impending shutdown over alleged issues. Okay, uh, alleged issues about sanitation. Uh, do you want to speak about sanitation, how uh, how the sanitation committee and the community have uh, stepped up? The sanitation community had, committee has been very busy collecting trash. They often send people around with trash bags, asking directly asking people living here for their trash, in addition to holding various cleanup efforts in different sections with mops and sweeps and bleach and such. They also encourage people in the morning to clean up. There's uh, not necessarily rules, but policies that... You should exchange your cardboard for new cardboard. Cardboard, if you want to wear, is very useful if you're on concrete for keeping uh, yourself warm so you're not laying directly on the cold concrete. However, by doing that for several days, it does get unhealthy and unsanitary, and so sanitation has been encouraging people to clean that up. So, uh, we've also been focusing on cleaning up walkways so that people, occupiers and people living in New York City before the occupation can access and pass through the park peacefully. Okay, so what are ways that uh, you think that it could be done better here at uh, Occupy Wall Street? One issue is you do have a lot of moochers or, or people who don't take and help or contribute, but do provide disturbances. The drummers are awesome, they're good people, but it's really hard to hear the General Assembly when they're playing. Over the last few days, that has begun to improve with nighttime hours and General Assembly cutting down, but for a long time, I couldn't take part in General Assembly because I couldn't hear. So finding a way so that people can be focused on participating in General Assembly is very key. The other element is there are long lines, which is normal when you have hundreds of people and only one place to get food and comfort. Uh, one, alter one obvious alternative to this is to provide other alternatives to get those things. But if you can't do that due to the limited space, I think a very important way to do that is to make it rewarded for people who do take part. People who take part in General Assembly or committees or whatever should have some way of identifying themselves so that they can either get ahead of the line, be in a separate line, or have be the only ones getting that service for free in order to cut down on lines and make it more service friendly for others. So make a distinction between participants and non-participants. Yes. It's not that the non-participants aren't valued. Their numbers are very crucial for holding this park, but it is also very important for them to take part in the decision-making process rather than to be ignored, especially when you consider that consensus is based on voluntary consent. What's that? Uh, why? What's the problem? Right, what, no, what's the problem? What is the problem? Do you want to support good people who disobey bad laws? The Civil Disobedience Evolution Fund was created to support the brave men and women who are saying no to aggressive government. With your contribution, you can support civil disobedience and non-cooperation now, while encouraging more in the future. As CD Evolution grows, we hope to provide activists with legal and public relations assistance, as well as delivering timely information on the growing civil disobedience movement. To play your part in the peaceful evolution, visit cdevolution.org. That's cdevolution.org.